Alright, Eddie. Last one. Last one. So let's try and write a conditional statement. It's going to start, Alex, it's going to start with if. If, blah, 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 then. And we're going to do the converse. So alternate exterior angles. Here we go. You got a picture. So what are we going to write? All right. If the measure of angle one is congruent to the measure of angle two, comma, then, yeah, let's go there and then there. If the measure of angle one is congruent to the measure of angle two, then they must be alternate exterior angles and J must be parallel to K that is how you're gonna prove two lines are parallel these are parallel lines if the measure of angle 1 is congruent to the measure of angle 2 if they are congruent that must mean they're alternate exterior angles and alternate exterior angles are only congruent in parallel lines. Now, here's what your homework's gonna look like. Maria, if it is possible to prove the lines M and N are parallel, so it's a yes or no. If it's a yes, you gotta reference the theorem. So, Shavam, Maria, Jordan Burgundy, look at number one. It's a yes or no. My question is this: Is ang or is line M parallel to line N? And here's your congruence marks right there. So do these congruence marks down the line? Do they mean that line M and N are parallel? It's either yes or no. If yes, if yes, you got to reference the theorem. If no. Yeah, why is, so what, what do you say, yes or no? So these two are the same. They're vertical yeah, angles and they have nothing to do with N. Yes, if they were parallel. But we don't know they're parallel because there's no there's no parallel mark, there's no triangle. So look what Bernie's saying. Line N could be it going on any direction. It could be going totally opposite. So number one is no, you're right. Write it in. Number one is no. But Burgundy. Burgundy. Burgundy said if this was down here then it would be that's true okay number two all right look at number two they give you two lines of transversal and they tell you that this is 62 degrees this is 62 degrees so can you use that to prove the line M is parallel to the line N Thank you. so number two is a yes yes and why so put a comma, let's go alternate. Um I guess you could go ALT period. Alternate ALT watch alternate INT alternate interior theorem. Yeah, do that. That's okay, I'm fine with that. Alternate interior theorem. Yeah. Oh, alternate interior angles. Okay, that's that's okay. That's fine. So now look at number three. Okay, if three is yes, you got to reference the theorem. What is that reference to? One of them is an exterior. This guy right here is on the outside. That's an exterior. This one is an interior. So the answer is no. If this angle right here, this top right, Shivani, you've got to stop. The top right, 
if it was congruent to the top right, then they would be parallel because of corresponding angles. Number four, last one. <coughs> One twenty-three and fifty-seven. Yes. 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 Because they add the one eighty, and they are consecutive. So consecutive interior theorem. Consecutive interior angles. So your homework. You're going to be doing problems just like that. They're going to give you data. you got to analyze it and see if you can use it to prove that they're parallel. Yes or no. Second part is going to be this right here. You need to make M and N parallel. Jared, M and N parallel. you got to make them parallel. How are you going to make number one parallel? What do they give you? What kind of angles do they give you? What's 4x and x? They're consecutive interior. Jared, consecutive interior angles do what? They're congruent or they add the 180? These two, are they the same thing or do they add the 180 on parallel lines? So write this down, number one, 4x plus x equals 180. If you add them, they equal 180. Now it's algebra. Alex, what's 4x plus x? So combine your like terms. That's 5x. If 5x is 180, Siobhan, what's x? Do you see why we did 4x plus x equals 180? Divide by 5. Divide by 5. What's 180 divided by 5? So if x was 36, then they would be consecutive interior angles. They would add the 180, and that would mean you've got parallel lines. Eddie, sit up. Eddie? Eddie, what about these guys? What angles are these? What did they give you in number two? Oh, I know what to do. Are these the same or do they add the 180? That's your two choices. They either add the 180 or they're the same. Same. Eddie. They're not add. Eddie, if they are on a straight line, they add the 180. This one right here and A. They add the 180. This one and this one right here, A, they add the 180. So that means this one and this one add the 180. So if they're the same, you got to set it equal. Write this down. 4x plus 2 equals 3x minus 2. This one equals this one. Jared, wake up. Stop it. Grab your pen and write this down. 4x plus 2 equals 3x minus 2. You got to solve it. Drew, you got to get your x's together. What side do you want your x's on? Huh? You want to move the 3x's over or do you want to move the 4x's over? 4x's over? Minus 4x, minus 4x. So you got 2 equals a minus x minus 2. That's okay. You'll get the same answer. So now, Jordan, you got to move this over. Plus 2. Plus 2. So we got 4 equals a minus x. And then I got to have a positive x. Positive x equals what? Negative 4. Okay.